DaVinci Resolve for noobs. I took a simple PNG image of a YouTube logo that you can see here in my timeline, and I decided to animate it in Fusion so that it zoomed in, floated around a bit, and zoomed back out of the frame. And I did all of this inside of Fusion, and I'll leave a related video right below my name now that you can click on to learn some of these techniques. But all I basically did was I added a transform node that made that zoom in from the left, waited a minute, and zoomed back out to the right. I took another transform node and added that in and gave it a little tilt so it leaned that logo back as it moved. I also added a third transform node that had a grow option to it and basically I just had it swell up a little bit right before it landed. And the last thing I did was I added a little bit of camera shake so when it finally did land in place it floated around a bit. Now if you build something like this and want to be able to reuse it sometime on anything else whether that's an image or text you can actually select these transform and camera shake nodes, right click, go up to macro and choose create macro. What you're looking at here are all the different nodes down below in all of their corresponding features over in the inspector. Now, if you go up to the three dot ellipsis in the upper right, scroll down and choose save as group, you can name this macro, let's call it zoom in, zoom out, and hit save. Now you can close out this window, and if you're on this project or even a brand new project, and let's say you were using something like your text plus option, and you had some text on screen that you wanted to animate in that same type of way, choose that, go over to the fusion page, and with that text one note in selected, hit shift spacebar to open up your tools menu, and use the search option to find the macro that you've built. There it is, zoom in, zoom out. Let's click on that and choose add. And now it's added that entire macro to this text. And you'll see back on the edit page, that text does the exact same thing that I had my YouTube logo do. I've created an entire motion preset that I can use anywhere else. 